Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com. Well, Russie, we got the HOA blues going on. And could you tell me, give us a little update of what's going on with that HOA? Um, I, I've been um, at Stone Ridge Homeowner Association uh, there for uh, about 11 years. And uh -huh. when we first went there, no one ever got fined. You know, uh -huh. they wouldn't talk to you and, and they worked it out. But All right. over the years, things changed. Yeah. And then the fine and the bylaws was like $25 if you break one of the rules. Like, you know, having a hammock out in the yard and you're not supposed to have a, have a hammock. Ha having your dogs walk anywhere without a leash. Okay, well, there you go. $25 fine for not leashing your dog. That's so. Which isn't too unreasonable, you know, because otherwise there's a lot of dogs in the neighborhood. And um, so everybody should have their dog on a leash so no one's, no dogs are biting other dogs type of thing. Eight years later, okay. the board decided they didn't want um, any riffraff in there, so they decided to, to um, um, start charging them. And okay. It, the fines went up to $175. Whoa! And for no leash? For, for the different infractions. Okay. You know, changing your oil in, the, in your driveway, um, uh, having plants grow into the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. um, changing the color of something in the house. Okay, Doing any without repairs. permission. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and so they decided that wasn't working. The people had the money. So okay. they brought it all the way up to $350 for infraction. The first <laughs> one is a warning. Um, the, sec the second one, uh, you get a fine. Uh -huh. And each time you get a fine, it multiplies and goes up and up and up. Doubles and doubles and doubles. Well, so what would you recommend if you're going to be buying a house in a neighborhood that has an HOA? to not only check the treasury information, but what kind of fines and and who's been fined in the neighborhood, you were saying, what we were talking about it earlier. What what was your idea on that? My idea is, is, is that you get a copy of the minutes. Uh-huh. Uh, each of the board meetings go back at least five years. Okay. That way you get a feeling that you really read your information. Right, give you on your right. Package. Yeah, and I always say, everybody HOA. read the minutes, talk to the president, talk to the treasurer. But you're also saying the fine thing, is it is it like different? I mean, do they have that in the minutes saying who was fined? And oh yeah, it's, 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 in, it's in, I don't know if, some of the stuff they do in a closed section. Right. But, but there is in the minutes the cost that they charge you for what you do, do if it's if it's against the rules. Okay, all right, so yeah. then they do post it. And, and then I guess the questions to the president or the treasurer is, well, how many people get fined in a year? And one of the questions you, go and talk to any of the builders that are building or anybody that's doing any remodeling uh -huh. and ask what they went through. Go to the, the city plan department and they say, what you know about the HOA in, in uh, San Luis Obispo? And they'll give you an earful. Okay, well, yeah. well, earful with that HOA, but there's several HOAs all across the country and they're getting out of control with the control in a lot of neighborhoods, from what I can tell, because they'll bump you out and, and find you out of the neighborhood, from what you're saying. And <laughs> If they if they want you out of the neighborhood. So so what works is in the the, the state laws, okay, mm -hmm. they have to have arbitration if you ask for it. Okay? Right. So you ask for arbitration and then you get a, get a, there's most most cities have free arbitration for you through the city like ours does. Right, right. And you have the arbitrators go in there and you both go in there mm -hmm. and um, that's your only protection. Okay. Is you the can, arbitration or the mediation with the yeah, what the you city can has to offer? Upon it. Okay. And what the what the state code says is they have to pay the cost for arbitration. The HOA does. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. All right. Well, so then you live, you learn, you go on. But beforehand, buyer beware. Look through those minutes and talk to the president and the treasurer to know the facts. If it's an easy HOA to live in. Yes. And we're at the airport in San Luis Obispo where Julia's taken a flight and uh -huh. the airplane that just came by uh -huh. and we better say goodbye. All right, well, Rusty you're right. Rusty Carvin, <laughs> give true. me a call if I can ever talk to you about these things. 805-234-1050. All right, well, thanks, Rusty. Thanks, Mr. HOA Blues. <laughs> Have a great, uh, a great HOA experience because they've been leaving you alone for at least a year and it's been good. Yes, yes, yeah. uh, yes. Yes, just because we really did um, stand up for our rights. If we wouldn't stand up for our rights, we would just pay and have been in. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. They would have started. Yeah, they could have kept on harassing you. Yeah. So, all's good. Anyway, Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.